Okay, uh, we have an interesting example here. Uh, we're asked to find what is the pressure at the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest part of the ocean. You can see it's located over here. It's in the, um, it's very close to Guam. It's part of the um, uh, Micronesia. It's just south of Japan, east of the Philippines. Uh, it's the deepest part uh, of the ocean. And uh, Marianas Trench is actually kind of a crescent-shaped trench here, and the deepest part of that is called the Challenger Deep. It's near the southern end of the Marianas Trench, and so that's the deepest part. And its depth is about 6.9 miles. It's very deep, so 36,201 feet, or about 11,000 meters. Just to give you some perspective, Mount Everest is about 29,000 feet, just over 29,000 feet in altitude, so if we place the, uh, the Mount Everest in the Challenger Deep portion of the Marianas Trench, it would still be quite a bit underwater. And uh, humans have only uh, gone to the Marianas Trench just a very small amount. Uh, it's a very small number. Something like, I think 13 people have made it to the uh, Challenger Deep portion of the Marianas Trench. Uh, that's fewer than have gone into space. And many of those 13 actually just have occurred over the last few years, like in 2019 and 2020. The first man descent was back in 1960, and then it took quite a long time before the second person did it. Um, so uh, it's a very special place, hard to get to. You can imagine with this kind of depth that the water pressure at the bottom there would be enormous. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to calculate what the pressure is at the bottom of this trench. So to do that, we'll just use our standard hydrostatic pressure distribution relation. We'll assume that water is incompressible. That's roughly true here. Actually, the, the pressure is so large at the bottom of the Marianas Trench that the, the density of water does change a little bit. It changes by about 4%, uh, which is considerable because normally we, can, we consider water to be incompressible. Um, it takes very large pressures to change the density of water, or any liquid for that matter. Um, so, so here the water actually does change density by, by about 4%, but we're going to ignore that. Okay, We'll just assume that the water is incompressible. So to find the pressure at the bottom, It'll be the pressure at the top plus the density of the seawater times G times the depth. I'll just call it H. So just to kind of sketch this out, here's our free surface of the ocean. Here's the Challenger Deep portion, part of the Marianas Trench. This depth is H. And of course, gravity is pointing downward. So let's go ahead and plug in some numbers here. The pressure at the top, We'll just start, we'll, we'll do an absolute pressure here. So the pressure at the top is 101 kilopascals absolute. Uh, density of seawater, so salt water, it's a little bit larger than the density of fresh water, so it's 1,025 kilograms per cubic meter. Gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. And the H, we said, was uh, 11,000 meters. We'll do this all in SI units. And when you work out these numbers, pressure at the bottom, comes out to be 110 megapascals absolute. That's, that's an enormous pressure. Uh, if I just divide that by atmospheric pressure to tell you how many atmospheres it is, it comes out to be about 1,100 atmospheres. So uh, let, me, let me erase this. It's unitless. So it's, it's an enormous pressure. The, the pressure is 1,100 times what it is here um, at atmospheric pressure, you know, just where we're sitting. So uh, you can imagine that trying to design submersibles to handle this kind of enormous pressure is pretty challenging, and that's, that's why it's so, so few people have actually made it down to those depths. It's actually uh, less of an engineering challenge to design something to go into space, because if you, at least from a pressure perspective, because when you go from sea level into space, you're roughly changing the pressure by one atmosphere. It goes from, from one atmosphere here at sea level to basically about zero out in space. So it's just a change of one atmosphere, whereas when you're going to the bottom of the Marianas Trench, uh, the pressure's changing by about 1,100 times. So it's, it's a significant uh, design challenge to make sure that uh, you have equipment that can operate at that depth, especially if you're transporting people down there. Um, so it's, it's a big deal. Anyway, it's a, an interesting example, and it just shows uh, how remarkable some places on Earth are. It's just uh, it's mind-boggling mind the, the amount of pressure that's down there. Okay, we'll go ahead and end the example there.